God told me four words, four scriptures to grab hold of. I didn't know if I was going to get another miracle in my body, but he told me to keep my eyes focused. And it was the first time he specifically gave me these words. I want to teach you them and tell you what happened next. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, I want to welcome you back to my show. And I tell you, I came up against a spiritual warfare attack, a health ailment. And for those of you that know my story, I've been healed many times without medical treatment, medical intervention. But I tell you, when this health attack came upon me, I just didn't think And it wasn't doubt. I think it was realistic, maybe a word of knowledge, that I wasn't getting what I call a get out of jail free card. What does that mean? That means I wasn't going to get my full healing without some medical or doctor intervention. But I tell you, the Lord spoke to me. I had so many powerful encounters. Guys, I anointed myself with oil about 10 times a day. I prayed out all those prayer declarations. I took communion. I did everything I knew how to do. And I kept believing to the very end. I kept believing until I'm not going to tell you about it yet. But friends, it really birthed a lot. For some of you, you've seen the black bracelets that we're including with your order. It says, I'll live by faith and not by sight. I declare I trust God for my healing. And those little thin bracelets were birthed out of that experience. But I want to give you the four PowerPoints of healing that he gave me. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, live by faith, not by sight. What does that mean? We got to live by faith, not by sight, not by physical things, not by natural things, uh, not by manifestations in our body. We just got to live by faith, not by what we're seeing, not what by people are saying. We got to live by faith and not by sight, not by that written doctor's report, you know, those lab results that you find in the computer. It was live by faith and not by sight. And it it coincidentally, it was the scripture he gave me for the year. And I'm not someone who really, uh, except for the last two years, I don't really petition the Lord for a scripture for the year. But that was my scripture for the year, live by faith and not by sight, probably because I've struggled so much with fear and, you know, you want to see things. And so that's what I did. I just live by faith and not by sight every step of the way. And I kept believing He said in Luke 17, 14, he goes, the lepers were healed as they went. We all want that miracle. We all want that instant healing. We all want it, friends. But he just kept saying the lepers were healed as they went. It was a progression. And in this, it was a progression. I remember the first time I had an ultrasound, you know, a a cyst disappeared and there were like some thread things in me. I don't know what they were for sure. They disappeared. And the next time I had like um, this other thing that they were looking at, that had uh, shrunk in half. No, it's not a tumor or growth. I didn't have any of that, guys. Okay, don't say that cancer word. It wasn't cancer or anything like that. But it was something creating a malfunction in my body. And so the Lord just kept telling me the lepers were healed as they went. And, you know, even though healings are miracles, in the, their healings are miracles in the process. And so the lepers were healed as they went. And I received some healing as I went. And so he kept just saying that over and over and over to me. And Isaiah 55, 11, he said, don't base your healing on a medical report or an external manifestation you are experiencing, but base it on my word. And I had something inside of me that was creating a manifestation externally. And he kept telling me, he said, Kathy, even if the external manifestation is there, don't not believe for the internal healing. Are you guys getting this? Because this is so good. 
And it's that whole living by faith, not by sight. Even though you're seeing or feeling an external manifestation, you can't doubt for your internal healing. And this was just pivotal, guys. It was pivotal. And so I kept being like, it doesn't matter what I see. It doesn't matter what I feel. I'm healed by Christ stripes. I'm healed. I would declare out, I'm a walking manifestation of my healing. I am a walking manifestation of my healing. And so don't base it on that medical report. When that medical report said one thing, I'm like, God, your report says another. You know, in the scriptures, it says, whose report are we going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of Yahweh, okay, of Yeshua. And so I want you to, you know, believe the good report. And Matthew 14, 30, he said, Kathy, walk on the water. Walk on the water. What does that mean? Okay. He said, keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't take them off Jesus like Peter did. Don't take them off Jesus. And that was really crucial. You know, he was just like, keep the faith, keep them on Jesus, keep on the word, keep on the scriptures, keep on my promises that you know, just keep walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. And I had to walk this out for weeks. Um, uh, I could have had it end sooner, but I chose to stand in faith for my healing and delay a light surgical procedure because I wanted God's glory to be shown. And, you know, I just kept working with the doctor and saying, can I have more time? Can I keep praying? And the doctor just kept saying, yep, go ahead. And, um, you know, honestly, it could have ended in cancer. Um, I rebuke that, but you know, the doctor said, you know, there's a chance that even though um, this isn't a tumor or growth, there could be cancer. And I'm like, well, do I have time to pray? Because we also want to be wise. And that's one thing I want to teach. And she said, yeah, you know, if it's a cancer, it would be slow growing and contained. And so she's like, yeah, you know, take your time. And I just kept praying and rebuking and, you know, kept these four scriptures in front of me. But friends, God never told me he was going to heal me. And I had been healed up to this time. I had been healed 17 times without medical intervention or treatment. But God never told me he was going to heal me this time. And, and I kind of just knew it in my gut and in my heart of hearts. And I was actually just with Steve Austin. He wrote a great book called Be Healed. If you don't have it, get it. Um, he's one of the pastors at Lakewood Church with Joel Osteen. And I was just with him recently. And he said something so crucial. And so many Christians don't get the procedures. So many Christians don't go to the doctor. And there's so many that die. They die because they don't want to get the procedure and they die because they don't want to get the treatment. And mine wasn't, you know, life threatening or anything, friends. But don't think you got to be super spiritual. Don't think that you can't go to the doctor. You know, if the Lord's calling you to have a procedure, do it. And in the end, I know this doesn't make sense, but it also makes perfect sense. I was writing my new upcoming book, Healed at Last. And the Lord did heal me 80%. I mean, I have doctor verified, cyst dissolved, um, the lining um, that they were looking at dissolved. It went from an 18 to a normal. Um, some other, um, like I said, threads or something dissolved. And they did find one thing and they went and tested it again, non-cancerous, praise the Lord. But you know, God healed me 80%. So why didn't he heal me that other 20? I really believe it's for the body of Christ. I believe it's for you. I believe because so many people are like, I'm going to hold out. God's going to heal me. God's going to heal me. And sometimes God's going to choose to heal you through a doctor. And so there's no shame in that. And there's no condemnation in it. And if my message can help save lives, that's all that matters. And so I just want to encourage you, you know, keep the words of the Lord in front of you. Before I went for a medical procedure, I um, prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. One, because it was going to cost me $4,000, a deductible to do it. But I wanted to know that was the Lord's will, and I wanted to be in his will. And 
I know he told me to have it. And I tell you, I was kicking, I was screaming all the way to the surgical procedure that morning. My flesh was screaming. I was just crawling out of my skin saying, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But I tell you, God wanted me to do it. And I got to witness to the preoperative nurse, uh, the anesthesiologist, even on the way, carting me to the room. He goes, hey, I'm going to give you something to relax you. And I said, I don't need anything. I got Holy Ghost. I'm going to be praying in tongues and until I fall asleep. Um, and guys, just trust the Holy Spirit. I'm healed, whole, restored. I don't have to concern myself with the outward manifestations anymore. And I was obedient to the Lord. So keep those power PowerPoints in front of you guys. I want to encourage you, go to my YouTube, go to my podcast. Everywhere, we are blasting out healing rails to get you healed. And go and pre order my book right now, Healed at Last. You can get it on Amazon, anywhere you order your favorite books, or Kathy DeGraw Ministries.org. It teaches you, it's your battle book of how do you overcome sickness to manifest your physical healing. I love you guys, and I pray that God heals you. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit KathyDeGrawMinistries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.